Now to our Streets of Shame series. Cleanup crews were back out in the Sepulveda Basin this morning for another round of clearing out homeless encampments. They did encounter some resistance along the way. You straight bulldoze our before my 30 minutes was up? Yeah. You better find another yeah, area to start cleaning. Right now, those homeless people are being warned not to come back or they will face prosecution. But where will they go? NBC4's John Caddy's Klimak has the story. We have been here in the Sepulveda Basin many, many times over the last few months, ever since News Chopper 4 and a drone caught the different encampments that were in the basin back in July. The very next day, you probably remember there was a fire, and then the city moved in to start clearing this out. Well, this is the supposed to be the third and final phase of that cleanup. It could take weeks, but this is what we're dealing with here. This is a three-story uh, tent encampment, treehouse, who knows how long it's been here? There have been people here who have lived here for years, and today they are all displaced. Just after sunrise, LA sanitation crews barely scratched the surface when an argument broke out. I have six men here straight bulldog. I can't. Okay. How am I going to get in? And my cats are still. You, they, 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 we'll, they, we'll you guys, we'll you guys it, need we'll to find another place to start cleaning. People experiencing homelessness living along Encino Creek and the Sepulveda Basin flood channel say they were caught off guard. There's no apologizing for that. That's bullshit. We didn't know what was going to happen today. Uh, we had gotten a rumor that it was supposed to happen on the 27th. Turns out the city posted warnings to vacate the area by December 26th. This woman says she has no idea where she'll go now. Just like a couple blocks down, you got Havenhurst and Burbank. You make a right, that's the golf course. You can't go to the golf course. If you make a left, you're on people's front lawns. And we're not trying to be on people's front lawns. This is LA Council President Nuri Martinez's district. Today, her office says the priority is for health and safety, and adds that her district has the most existing supportive housing units than anywhere else in the valley, and that outreach has been constant in the Sepulveda Basin since July. This woman says she's never been offered help until today. Okay, you come today of all days. You know nobody's going to take services right now because we're trying to get our. This cleanup is expected to last weeks, and you can understand why as much that is in here. But something that is new that we haven't noticed before at these, a sign posted warning that violators will be prosecuted for trespassing, parking, dumping, or storage of personal property. We haven't seen that anywhere else. But the city says they will enforce that. Reporting from the Sepulveda Basin, I'm John Cadiz Klimak, NBC4 News. Well, Governor Gavin Newsom will ask lawmakers to allocate more than $1.4 billion to a variety of local and state-run efforts as the state tries to get homeless people off the street. The proposal is included in the new state budget. Most of the money will be distributed directly to local providers for things such as monthly rent payments as well as securing additional housing units. NBC4 is committed to covering the homeless crisis with our Streets of Shame series. If you have a story idea, we'd like to hear about it. Send an email to tips at NBCLA.com.